transformation in the local rugby sphere. This on the 20th anniversary of South Africa's famous World Cup triumph. After having formed a partnership with the Atlantic Academy based in Tamboerskliff, Connect's kids and young coaches are thriving and working hard towards transformation within the sport as well as in their in immediate environment. Welcome Connect's director and coach, Mari Ingram, joining us from our Cape Town studios. Good evening, Mari. Thanks for making the time to speak to me. Hi, Bill. Thanks for having me on the show. Now, Murray, Connect Sports Academy is an organization that is really quite clearly committed to uh, developing young people in sports in and around the Cape Town areas. Can you tell, uh, take us, tell us more about the organization and what impact have you guys been able to make so far um, within the areas in which you operate? Absolutely. Um, we've been working uh, predominantly in Kailicha for a number of years now. Um, within the sporting realm, we, we started working very closely with the Kailicha Boxing Academy initially. Um, and, and that really gave us good insight into the needs of the kids in the area, etc., etc. And it's led to us really focusing in, on, on rugby development in particular. Now, Mari, the senior Springbok team has remained sort of relatively uh, untransformed, even while on a social level, I think South Africa has come quite a long way. How is Connect and its young uh, people in partnership with the Atlantic Academy trying to break down those barriers? Um, I think if you're going to talk about transformation, you have to start with, with resources and access to resources in particular. Um, and that's where, really where we start. Um, a lot of the kids in a place like Kailicha have, have virtually no access to, to a field or a rugby field in, in particular. And it starts with that, getting kids access to, to playing facilities. Uh, and then on top of that, it's, it's transport, it's food. Uh, I mean, rugby players need to have good nutrition, need to be you know, well conditioned, etc., etc. So all of the things that privileged people like myself would, would take for granted as you grow up, um, those things all have to be facilitated for, for kids, in, in, again, in, in places like Kailicha and, and in townships and rural areas all over the country. Speaking of those resources that are lacking, how have Connect been able to, um, to get assistance in, in, in providing the facilities and the basic needs that the, the, that the kids might have? Are you guys being funded by corporate sponsors or how is it working out? Um, we, we initially started, we, we use social media uh, more than anything. Um, uh, so we initially were funded exclusively by, by individuals, by people who, who saw what we were doing or didn't see what we're doing. And if, uh, a lot of people now working with us actually found us on, on Twitter and Facebook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and, and different organizations like the Atlantic Academy and um, the Western Cape Islanders Touch Rugby side, um, as well as a few corporates are starting to come on board. Um, we're using the My City uh, to transport the kids uh, in and around Cape Town as well. Um, but we're a genuine grassroots organization, so funding was not always our priority. But as we as we were expanding and, and, and you know starting to get a lot more kids and a lot more traction, and we played in Paul over the weekend, so we're continually hiring taxis and using buses and feeding kids. And so yeah, there's a few things in the pipeline. Um, we've recently joined up with Tag Rugby as well, um, with who are helping us with our grassroots development. So yeah. Uh, Making partnerships and, and, and looking at other ways of, of getting sponsors on board is, is definitely part of what we're doing. The main thing we're looking for definitely is, is a Quantum or a car or any, any car manufacturers want to come on board, that would be great. I'm sure there are some uh, big bosses of uh, motor vehicle companies listening and probably they will be willing to come on board. Now, are there any issues that you would like to highlight um, just to bring awareness to what you guys are doing and, and, and how development is, is, is coming along in South Africa as a whole? Um, absolutely. I think the thing that I'd really like to stress is, is simply that if, we, if we're going to talk about development or transformation, I'd really like the conversation to shift towards a genuine grassroots transformation. And what I mean by that is, is helping kids from, from areas that, or disadvantaged areas, kids from you know, four or five years old up until kids that are leaving school, 
helping them to actually really gain access to, to the resources and, and the facilities and, and all the things that they require to, to kind of nurture their talent. Because that's the one thing that we've, we've seen immediately is that there's a, there's a, a vast amount of talent in, 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 place, in, in places like Kailicha. I mean, in, 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 in the areas that we work in, in particular, in Kanini, Makaza, uh, Guyasa, um, we, we were astounded by the amount of talent that, that we we're coming across. But they're kids that, that really have little capacity to, 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 be, to kind of get involved in any sort of formal sporting infrastructure or, or, or in any kind of clubs or academies, etc. So I think that's really it. I think the, the whole conversation really has to shift towards that, towards helping fund and, and support grassroots initiatives. And very lo um, just very briefly, Murray, what can we look forward to from uh, Connect going forward? Um, well, what we're really looking to do is, is, is put a sustainable uh, program in place. Um, and, and what we're doing is, is looking at, at rugby, boxing, soccer and, and cricket initially. And we formed uh, strategic partnerships recently with um, Greenpoint Cricket Club as well as um, Greenpoint Salesians Football Club. So we, we're expanding pretty quickly and, and what we're really trying to do is identify exceptional, exceptionally talented kids um, in the areas that we operate and help them to, to, to play at a higher level and at a level that they, they'd probably automatically be qualifying to play in if, if they were born somewhere else. Um, so what we're really trying to do is, is just make that sustainable and, and help those kids get to where they need to be as fast as possible. Murray, that's where I'll leave it for tonight. Thanks so much for speaking to us. That's Murray Ingram, the CEO and coach at the Connect Sports Academy. To find out more about the work that they do, do visit connectsportsacademy.co.za.